Hello fellow guitar players. So today I'm going to be doing a lesson on how to play My Own Prison by Creed. And I apologize for the sound and the video quality if it's bad because I am recording this on my cell phone. So I'll try to speak up so you can hear everything clearly. But what I'm going to do is I will play the song and then after that I'll walk you through step by step on how to play it. So here we go. That's the intro, and then here's the chorus. It's uh, four chords, so it's pretty easy. That's it right there. Now, this song is like one of those songs, at least for me personally, it's like I hear it on the radio all the time, and I always love the intro. I mean, Mark Tremonti of Creed, amazing guitarist. He always has the coolest intros and the coolest bridges and solos. It's like always one of those songs that I hear it, and it's like, I always want to look it up, but I always forget. So I finally ended up remembering to look it up, and I don't regret it one bit, because it's such a fun song to play. It's an easy song to play but yet it's still fun. It just sounds just so mean and gritty and raw. So, if that makes any sense to you, at least that's, that's how I feel about it. So, we'll jump into how it's played. Um, <clears throat> standard tuning, and you just drop the E down to D. So drop D, basically. And then uh, you, hit, you hit the open, the E string open once. And then you play a D chord, but instead of keeping your middle finger on the second fret of the high E string, you take it off. So you're playing the E string open with still your um, index finger on the second fret of the G string and then your um, ring finger on the third fret of the B string. So you hit the E string open once and then you strum that chord twice. So like this. After that, you um, hammer on, open hammer on the first fret of the A string, and then open hammer on the third fret of the D string. So it's. So you have. After that, after you hammer on the third fret of the D string, then you keep your finger on the third fret of the D string, and then you hit um, the G string open, then the D string open, and then the A string open. I'm sorry, not, not the D string open, the third fret still on the D string. So G string open, D string third fret, A string open. So. So, so far, this is what you have. Not too bad. Pretty easy. And then after that, you bar the third fret. Um, I personally bar all the strings, but I mean, if you're not really good with bar chords yet, you can get by with just doing the, the E and the A string. But like I said, I bar them all. And then I also add my finger on the 5th fret of the G string as well. You don't have to do this, it just makes it sound a little bit better. So that's the chord that you get if you, if you do everything. Or like I said, you can just get by with just doing it. 
And then after that, the... And then you hit that. It's that, it's that rhythm is played, so... just kind of flows together. That's that's one reason why I like this song. Everything flows really well. And after that, then you third string on the third 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 fret on the A string, I'm sorry. And then you hammer on to the fifth fret of the A string. And then you pluck the third fret of the A string one more time, so. So you have. And then after that, you hit the fifth fret of the E string, and then the third fret of the E string. Then you bend it a little bit, and then open on the E string. So th this whole little part is. <laughs> so. So the whole the whole intro so far. That's the end of the first intro. So it's... And that's the first intro. And then the second intro is... All that's still the same. And instead of doing... You do... You're still ending on a D. You're just playing the D string open. Instead of doing, you're doing. So it's bend on the third fret of the E string, and then open on the, the D string. Instead of bend on the third fret, and then open on the E string. That's it for the intro. So it basically goes just like this, both intros. That's both of the intros right there. And then as for the chorus, um, it's it's the same as the bard on the third fret. Like I said, I, I add my finger on, on that fifth fret of the G string, but you don't have to. I just personally think it does sound better. So then the chorus goes just like this, and it's four chords. Down one fret, down another fret, here you can just play open, but I put my finger on the second fret of the G string, just because you know cer certain little things. Adding adding one finger here and there can really make things sound a lot better. I mean, pretty simple. You know, I really hope this video helps everyone out there that's just starting out on guitar and you know your skills aren't that great yet, but you still want to play something that's not too hard, but it still is fun and sounds cool. 
I mean, that's that's my biggest thing that I want to say to people starting out playing guitar. You know, don't start out trying to learn, you know, how to read music and learn all the scales and learn all the chords and don't freak out if you can't do bar chords 100% perfect your first time. I mean, you need to start out learning fun songs to play. Songs that are pretty easy, but yet, you know, they're still fun and they make you feel good about playing guitar. I mean, that's that's my best advice for people like they're just trying to start out learning guitar. You know, you, you're doing it, you're not going to become a rock star, odds are. I mean, you're just doing it for fun. You're doing it because you like music. Maybe to play for your friends, to play for girls, to play for your family. I mean, just, just start out playing those fun, simple songs and you you know, you won't get so frustrated when you can't get something down, like, you know, playing a whole scale. Start out playing Smoke on the Water, Iron Man, Seven Nation Army, Sweet Home Alabama, Wagon Wheel. I mean, start out playing those songs, because people can sing along to them. They're not hard. They still sound good. Well, guys, I really hope this video helped you guys out on learning this song. Personally, I think the song's badass, simple and fun, and Creed... Creed's where it's at, guys. Alright, guys. Thanks.